Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to allow access to photos and videos for apps on your iPhone. So let's get started. So there's two different ways you can do this. First way is you're going to go into your settings and then you're going to scroll down to privacy and security. Now from privacy and security, we're going to scroll down to photos. Now, photos includes videos as well. So first thing is you're going to find the app that you want to allow photo and video access. So in our case, let's pick Facebook as an example. Right, there's two different ways you can allow access. Usually you can do a limited access, which you can select which photos and videos to give access to, or you can allow full access, which will have access to your entire photos and videos on your iPhone. So here, if you do a limited one, you're gonna have to select the individual one. Uh, so you have to select the individual one that you wanna give limit to and then hit done, right? It's gonna have that limit and you can come here to edit that. Now, you can also give full access. In that case, it will be able to get access to all of the photos and videos. So we'll be able to do that. So pick whatever you prefer, but this will allow access to photos. Now, another way to do it, if you don't see it here is Let's go back into the main settings here. This time we're gonna scroll down, right? Find apps, and then you're gonna look for the app that you wanna allow access this time. So we're gonna look for, example, Instagram here. So let's look for Instagram. And then here you'll see a setting for photos. Same exact thing, you can allow a limited access or full access. And then Instagram will also have photo access, just like that. And in a scenario where you don't see the setting in either of these options, you will need to delete and reinstall the app. So in order to do that, go ahead and find the app, right? For example, this one, right? I would remove, click on delete, and then delete it. And then you're gonna go to the App Store and reinstall it. Now, once you reinstall it, when you relaunch it again, it's gonna prompt you to give access to the photos and videos if it needs it. And there, you're gonna select yes. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.